CAR T cell therapy designed for TL. And the first CAR T uh, product designed for uh, TL uh, had been published. The data have been published uh, in blood in 2016, but it's the preclinical study uh, to use the ER retention signal sequence uh, and the KDEL uh, technique. And then there's no clinical data for this CAR-T product. Uh, last year, uh, two Chinese uh, group had a report, report the CD7 CAR-T cell therapy in TL. One is an autologous CD7 CAR-T cell therapy, and one is the universal CD7 CAR-T cell therapy. But the case, the cohort is very small. It's only several cases. We think just this is the, just one step for the CAR-T cell therapy in TL because it's uh, many uh, many uh, problems in CAR T cells every 40 L. First, there is the first site. If you choose the CD7 molecule for the target antigen uh, or CD7, uh, CD5 or CD2, uh, we must uh, uh, block the least antigen expression on the new normal T cells. So we must prevent. CAR T cell fertilized is the one step. And second step is um, we need to get you love and health, uh, healthy T cells for manufacture. So for the autologous T cell in the patient's body, we think the autologous T cell is not healthy and the, the month is, is, is too small to manufacture CAR T cells. So we use the donor derived CAR T cells. So we don't use the autologous, the autologous T cells for these patients. Um, but for the universal CD7 CAR T cell therapy, we think the problem is the CAR T cell persistent and expansion. Uh, we found most patients only had their CAR T cells in their body within one month. So the persistence is a very big problem for these kind of patients. So many patients maybe relapse after one month. So that's the problem for universal CAR T cells. So uh, in all, we think CD7 CAR T cell therapy for TL had a much, uh, many problems to face. So uh, our and donor derived CD7 CAR T cell therapy is the only first step. Uh, we want to we want to prove the concept of this kind of therapy.